Alright, just got done taking the car down to the front desk. Uh, I ate myself a real healthy meal here. We have one chicken margarita with balsamic. Mm. And then we have beef merlot. I don't know if that still makes them healthy, but that's what I ate tonight. I got my gum sitting out because a little bit of chicken liver got on the other pieces around there and I'm not sure, so they're sitting out. And then we've got my fishing license right here hanging out because a whole bunch of chicken liver juice got on it. Disgusting. Um, so... I just got done at the Ohio River and realized that, well, I already knew it, that I'm fishing with way too light of gear. But doing what I'm doing, I really need to be versatile. Hello everyone, it is 8.20 and just got off work, got my to go food and we're gonna go try to catch some fish tonight uh, okay I am uh, at Sh the Sugar Creek here in Charlotte and uh, my nice co-workers uh, let me have the rental car uh, tonight so I'm gonna go try to catch some fish and I'm here at the creek because I'm interested to see if there's any br uh, brim or bluegill. That's what I think uh, will be working the best for the big ones. So uh, I'm trying to trying to find them uh, a spot down to the river, but I am not finding a good route. These bushes I don't even know what they are but well shoot here's a good spot right here we'll just walk right over to it huh check it out so <laughs> I'm looking for little fish right now so that I can get a spot on where to get bait my hotels right down the street so this works out perfect uh, oh there's fish I see fish down there already I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. How does a person get down there? I'm not sure. You just gotta trod your way through it, I guess. Don't really want to do that. I've been bit by a rattlesnake before and <laughs> it was not fun. Yeah, I wasn't even <laughs> doing anything like this. I was roofing a house when I got bit. Coming off the ladder, I stepped right on him. Oh my gosh, that just looks like a really good spot right there. Really good. That doesn't look horrible. And then it turns not too bad. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, that's doable. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I'll get back with you guys once I figure out what I'm doing. And I'm heading uh, to uh, Wiley Lake, and we're gonna try to catch some, some bass, maybe some catfish, maybe. I'm not sure. Never been to this lake before. Uh, pretty excited to, to see what we can do. I didn't, uh, I didn't get the big bait that I was hoping for, so, um, 
there's still a little bit of daylight left not much uh, I haven't even been able to look over the other night video that I had so I'm not sure if it's even gonna turn out very good but I mean I'm still gonna give it a shot and who knows maybe we can catch something cool tonight um, very excited about fishing a new body of water it's only 22 minutes away so uh, not very far at all uh, I'll get back to you uh, when we get to the lake well this doesn't look good I've been in this position before and uh, normally when it looks like this you can't get access to the lake so tonight might be a bust uh, hopefully we can get to the water That's what that thinks, but I'm thinking that, yeah, it'll be on the right, but can, can a guy fish it legally? Oh, there's a marina over there. Oh, there's a, maybe a marina right here. Nope, that's a personal boat dock. But it looks like a person can fish here. Yeah, nice. Alright. Well, I was wrong. I don't know, maybe you can't fish right here. I'm gonna go ask these folks and see if they know. Well, I saw that coming. Uh... It's private property. They don't even let you. They don't even let you fish off the uh, off the rocks. So <sighs> we're gonna. I'm gonna type in a marina. I'm facing another problem. Um, I saw a marina there. You just go over the bridge and you're right at it. But over there, South Carolina, and I didn't bring. I didn't bring my. Or I didn't purchase a South Carolina license, I purchased a North Carolina license. So I'm limited to North Carolina. Um, so I'm gonna type in my phone here and see if there's a marina near. Uh, I'll get back with you. All right, well, um, there was a marina right down the road. So here we are. Um, need to make sure that we can uh, get to the lake without trespassing. So, oh. here we are, Lake Wiley or Wiley Lake. I'm not sure of um, what it's actually called. Man, this, this doesn't feel right. Oh, dang, I'm just uncertain about if I can fish here or not. There wasn't any signs, but that doesn't mean anything. All right, I gotta figure this out. I'll get back with you. All right, guys, we're here at Lake Wiley. Uh, we tried going to two spots. One of them was, well, they were both private property. And I don't want to get in trouble, so uh, I should have did a little more research. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. So uh, I'm going to go to hopefully this uh, public access point. Uh, we'll see. I'll get back with you. Well, <laughs> the park's closed. Closes at 8.30. It's 9 o'clock right now. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, might not get to go fishing tonight. All right, well, this is spot number three, 
and another closed gate. This is awesome. I don't know what to do about this. Um, I think I might just call it a night and go to bed. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> we are way low on fuel, so I'm going to head back closer to town. I don't want to get stuck out here. I didn't even, didn't even look at the gas gauge when I got in the vehicle. So tonight's a bust. Uh, when I get back to the hotel though, I'm probably going to go over, uh, the things that you should do that I didn't do. <laughs> no, but when we get back to the hotel, I'm going to, uh, Show you show what I do to get ready for fishing a new lake. The type of research that I do. So uh, if you want to, stay tuned. Okay, so I've got my bait put away, and sorry about not going fishing tonight. But um, when I'm going to show you guys what I do when I come to a new place. Uh, first of all, uh, when I get to, or not when I get there, when I know where I'm going to go and where I'm going to be staying, I don't have a vehicle. Uh, every once in a while I might have a rental car, um, <clears throat> but I'm, I typically find where the hotel's at. So right now I'm staying at the resident residence in uh, in Charlotte near the airport so from here I like to uh, I like to look around and see if there's any water around and right here you see a creek and this creek right here is actually the sugar creek and uh, there is fish in there, and it might end up being my bait spot. Uh, but then I'll zoom out, and being as I don't have a lot of time um, at it after work, I will look for the closest lake to me. And once I find out what the closest lake or creek is or river, then I, uh, right here we have Lake Wiley. And it's straight across, it's about uh, 18 minutes to 20 minutes to get there. So not very long. Um, so then I'm gonna write down the name so after I have the lake figured out or the river or the stream that I want to fish then I go to YouTube or the internet and I look up that particular lake and I see what people are doing and uh, I also check on the internet what types of fish are in are in that particular lake so um, with Lake Wiley uh, there's blue catfish, channel catfish, flathead catfish uh, largemouth bass and a whole bunch of other panfish but the ones that I'm interested in, oh there's also gar the ones that I'm interested in is the uh, catfish and also the bass and gar. I, I've never caught one, so I want to catch one. I've, I've hooked into them, and I've had them, you know, by my lure, but I've never got one to the boat. So I do want to catch one of those. It may sound silly to some people, but... Um, so after I figure out what fish are in the lake, what lake I am fishing or stream or river then I will uh, search on on Facebook and see if there's any 
fishing clubs or yeah fishing clubs on uh on that lake like a a lake specific group and then if there is like there is a couple of them on this lake so then i request to join their group and i put it out there hey i'm in town never fished this lake before hoping to get a few pointers maybe even a spot to try out and a lot of times people will jump on there and and help you out um sometimes they won't but that's fine i mean nobody wants to talk or give up their good spots unless you're me <laughs> then you make a video about it uh <laughs> but uh so then i typically somebody will respond and tell me hey you should try here and use this for bait and hopefully you'll catch this so after i do all of that then uh you know i go purchase the bait and go out fishing that's the end of this video i guess Day to 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 day